So what we're going to study in this uh, video is the notion of tangent plane, linear approximation, and linearizations for functions of two variables. Let me start by recalling a key concept of differential calculus. So consider a function of a single variable, f of x, and sketch its graph, you end up with a curve in the xy plane. Now suppose you're interested in the behavior of the function near a point x0, y0, on the curve. Then we know from differential calculus that the function is very well approximated by a line which is called a tangent line to the graph of the function. And we know that the slope of the tangent line is given by the derivative of the function at this point. More precisely, the equation of the tangent line is y minus y0, which is equal to the derivative of the function at the point x0 times x minus x0. Now, as I've said, this tangent line here provides a very good approximation of the function at this point. So we call L of x, which is basically the value of y on the tangent line, so f prime of x naught times x minus x naught plus y naught. So we call this the linearization of the function at this point, because it's basically replacing the function by a linear uh, equation or a line, and we call the approximation where we replace f of x by its linearization the linear approximation of the function at this point. All right, so now we're talking about functions of several variables, so we're going to focus on functions of two variables in this video, and we would like to generalize the concept of tangent line linearization and linear approximations to functions of two variables. So let's now consider a function of two variables, f of x, y, and sketch its graph. So we end up with a surface in three dimensions. And now if we pick a point on that surface, say with coordinates x0, y0, and z0, what we're interested in is looking at the behavior near this point and approximating the graph of the function, which is a surface, by something simpler, which is linear. So what we're trying to do here is define the tangent plane to the surface at this point. Now this is not a line anymore because it's a surface, so it's a plane. So this is what we would call the tangent plane. And what we're trying to do now is find the equation of the tangent plane to the surface at a point. All right, so a plane is given by a linear equation in the three variables x, y, z. So in general, we know that they will uh, have an equation of this form. So a times x minus x naught plus b times y minus y naught plus c times z minus z naught is equal to zero for some choices of constant a, b, c. All right, let me just rewrite this a little bit. I'm going to solve for z here and redefine new constants, small a and small b. And then I want to try to solve uh, for a and b. All right, how can I get uh, the values of a and b in terms of the function? So what do I know here? Well, I know something about partial derivatives, which is something that we've seen in class. So I know that if I look at, say, the curve here that goes 
through my point, which is obtained by keeping x fixed, then I know that the slope of that curve is given by the partial derivative of my function in the y direction, because I'm keeping x fixed, evaluated at the point x0 and y0. Alright, so what does that mean here? So keeping x fixed means I'm just setting x equals to x0 in uh, the equation of the plane, because now I'm keeping x fixed and I'm going through the point x0, y0, and z0, so I'm set basically setting x to be equal to x0. So at this point, the equation of the plane becomes the equation of the tangent line to that curve, so that would be z minus z0, and now I'm setting x equals to x0, so I'll end up would be times y minus y naught. And the statement that the slope of the tangent line to the curve here is given by the partial derivative of f with respect to y is nothing else but the statement that the slope here b of the tangent line to this curve is precisely del f del y at the point x naught and y naught. Similarly, I can do the exact same thing by keeping y fixed. So if I now look at the curve here, which is obtained by keeping y fixed, so in other words, I keep y equals to y naught, then I know that this slope is going to be equal to the partial derivative of the function with respect to the x variable evaluated at the point. So I can do the same calculation here. So if I set y equals to y naught, and the equation of my tangent line what I'm going to get, uh, the equation of the tangent plane, what I'm going to get is z minus z naught, which is equal to a times x minus x naught. And the statement that the slope is equal to the partial derivative is the statement that a here, the slope, is equal to del f del x at the point x naught and y naught. So putting all this together, I've basically found the equation of the tangent plane to uh, the uh, the graph of my function of two variables at the point, and it is given by z minus z naught, which is equal to little a, which is the partial derivative of the function with respect to the x variable at x naught and y naught, times x minus x naught, plus the same thing but in the y variable, so the derivative of the function with respect to y evaluated at the point, times y minus y naught. So this is the equation of the tangent plane to the graph of the function at the point x0, y0, z0. And it provides the linear approximation of the function because it approximates very well to sketch the graph of the function near this point. All right, so let me now work through an example. So what we derived in the previous slide is that the tangent plane to the graph of a function of two variables at a point is given by this equation, which is determined in terms of the partial derivatives of the function evaluated at this point. So let's consider the function of two variables given by x plus 2y squared, and suppose that I'm interested in the tangent plane to the graph of that function at the point with x coordinate 0, y coordinate 1, and then the point must be on the graph of the function, so if x is equal to 0 and y is equal to 1, then z must be equal to 2. All right, so what we need to do now is just calculate the partial derivatives, evaluate at this point, and substitute in the equation. So if I calculate the partial derivative with respect to x, here what I get is 1, which is a constant, so if I evaluate at the point with coordinates 0 and 1, I still get 1, because this is just a constant. As for the derivative with respect to y, what I'll get here is 4y. So if I evaluate at the point with x coordinate 0 and y coordinate 1, I'll get 4. All right, and then I can just substitute into the general equation of the tangent plane that I've derived to get the equation of the tangent plane to that particular function at this point. So I get z minus z naught, which in this case is 2 must be equal to the partial derivative with respect to x evaluated at the point, which is 1, times x minus x naught, which is 0, plus the partial derivative with respect to y evaluated at the point, which is 4, times y minus y naught, which is 1. So I can simplify this a little bit. I'm going to solve for z, 
on the right I get x plus 4y, then I have minus 4 plus 2, so I get minus 2. So this is the equation of the tangent plane to the graph of the function x plus 2y squared at the point with coordinates 0, 1, and 2. So we can visualize what we just calculated using the 3D calculator on GeoGebra. So here I've entered the function that we started with. So in red is the surface that's obtained as the graph of this function. And in blue here is the tangent plane that we just calculated. So we see here that indeed the tangent plane uh, is the plane tangent to the surface at the point 0, 1, 2. That's not so easy to see, but we see that if we were to zoom in near the function very, very closely, then we would see that the plane actually provides a very good approximation of the surface near this point. Let me summarize what we've seen so far. So suppose that f is a function of two variables with continuous partial derivatives. Then the tangent plane to the graph of that function at the point is given by the equation here, which we derived, and is determined in terms of the partial derivatives of the function evaluated at this point. Now, as we've seen, the tangent plane provides a good approximation to the graph of the function near this point. So we call L of xy, which is obtained by solving the equation for the tangent plane in terms of z. So we call L of xy the linearization of the function at the point. And if we replace the function by its linearization, we call this the linear approximation of the function because the tangent plane provides a good approximation to the surface obtained as the graph of the function near the point x0 and y0. One thing that's interesting is that we can also do better than this. Just like in calculus of one variable, so the tangent line provided the linear approximation of the function, but we also looked at higher degree approximation, which were given in terms of Taylor polynomials of the function. So we could do the same thing here for functions of more than one variable. So we could define the higher degree approximations, which would be given by the Taylor polynomials for this function, but we will not study that in this video. The last topic that I want to talk about in this video is differentiability for functions of two variables. So recall that in the case of a function of one variable, we said that the function is differentiable at a point if its derivative exists at that point. But we could have understood this concept geometrically as well. So the function is differentiable at a point if the tangent line at this point provides a good approximation of the function near this point, right? Because if the function is not differentiable, then the tangent line doesn't really make any sense. So for the purpose of this video and this class, we're going to define differentiability for functions of two variables in a very non-rigorous way and using the same geometric picture. So we're going to say that a function of two variables f of xy is differentiable at a point x0, y0 if its tangent plane provides a good approximation at this point, so near this point. So what that means is that the tangent plane is a good approximation to the surface obtained by sketching the graph of that function near this point. Now, of course, this is not rigorous, but this is uh, all we're going to do in this video. But how do we know that the tangent plane provides a good approximation near the point? So fortunately, there's a criterion which guarantees that this will be the case. And this is what we're going to use mostly in this course. So if the partial derivatives of the function, so if the partial derivatives del f del x and del f del y are, well, first they, if they exist and are continuous at the point, then we are guaranteed that the function is differentiable at this point. So what that means is that the tangent plane will provide a good approximation to the surface obtained by sketching the graph of that function near this point. All right, so this will be the, the sufficient criterion that we're going to use. So whenever the partial derivatives exist and are continuous at a point, then the function is differentiable at this point.